guys, it's your girl T. And I want to go ahead and shout out Ashley Seaman. Ashley was one of the first ones to send me this crazy story. She was like, lovely T, when you Google nigger house, it takes you to the White House on Google Maps. And I thought she was playing, so I took out my trusty Android phone and I put in nigger house and sure enough, the White House came up. So a lot of folks were talking about this online. This was a viral story. And on top of that, I also Google niggers on Google Maps and it took me to some underground railroad TV. Other folks put in nigga and IGGA, uh, nigga college and it brought a Morehouse. So it was just a mess. Google has since apologized. They're saying that basically what happened is that they allow people to edit maps and update, you know, the systems as they need to. And they're saying by today, everything should be fixed fixing back to normal they're saying that it was a racist prank by many people online who did this so the whole situation is a mess I don't know who thought to you know Google nigger house on Google Maps but once somebody did that that's what came up you know so in my personal opinion that's cool that Google apologized but I initially thought that this was a hoax until I tried it I think Google needs to make it where random users cannot update the Google Maps I don't understand why they need help from the public any damn ways you guys are Google you guys are a million dollar company you guys can pay people, create jobs to have people update your maps. But instead, you guys would rather have the public do it for free as opposed to paying a team of people to handle this situation. And now Google has egg on their face. You know, so it's just a message that shows you that even with the black president, we are not living in a post-racial society. And a lot of folks out here are still racist and still hold a lot of bigoted views. Know, and for them to you know call the White House the nigger house and Morehouse College nigger college you know I'm not shocked by any of it I just think it's just a lot of foolishness and it's sad that somebody would take this upon themselves you know what I'm saying to do something like this I really wish that some people could take all the energy that they have to you know to do fuckery and pranks and do stupid stuff online if they could take all that energy and put it into something positive Lord have mercy, we would have a much better world. When it comes to building something positive, when it comes to creating something positive, folks don't have energy for that. But when it comes to fuckery, you can always have a group of people who are down, ready, and willing to, you know, pull a prank, to be racist, to be bigoted, to be homophobic, and everything else. So the whole situation is a mess, but I'm not shocked. So anyways, you guys, go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire situation. Did you try this yesterday by putting in nigger house? What did you get? Have you tried it today? And then how did you feel when you first heard about this story? Were you like me and thought it was a hoax until you tried it? And how do you feel about Google's apology? Do you feel like their apology is sincere or the whole situation should have never went down anyways? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts. All right, deuces. Hey, YouTube. It's your girl, Lovely T. And you can show me some love by hitting that subscribe button, watching my previous videos, and following me on social media. <laughs>